Hello people! Welcome to another edition of Sunday Sharpenings on a Dose of Drew. Today we are finishing out, at least for the time being, the uh, re-profiling uh, of the Joy of Cooking S35VN Kuritsuke. Uh, down to 15 degrees per side. Had some adventures with Shapton. We're back to Diamond. This is the 1200 grit uh, Atoma diamond plate stone. This is around 12 to 14 microns depending upon where you go. I'm going with 12 microns on here. This is a bit rougher than the 9 microns of the DMT or the Sharp Pal. So without anything further, previous diamonds have required 50 strokes per side. So we're just going to go straight to 40 and see where we're at couple of stops just to make sure you can get the and before when I had talked about visual with the rougher grits not providing the visual feedback the 1200 is absolutely sublime in that it provides both the tactile the audible and it's a fine enough grit that the visual feedback is there also so without further ado That was 20 now. Already pulling a burr at 20. Whew. Already pulling a burr at 20. That is pretty awesome, actually. Another 20 strokes. Here we go. Let's go fast. I don't know if you can hear just how smooth and sublime it is, but the feel mat is matches that. There's more, more burr in some places than others, which is interesting at 40. Some of it's almost like a really large burr, but that's okay too. Got a tiny burr, all along with a couple of places having a large one, which is interesting indeed. But it's enough for me to move to the next site and be happy in what this will bring. Because I think I do this. 
feeling my grip here. And that too, this is going quite fast with the diamonds. I'm really, really happy with that. And 1200 is such a nice. Whatever. So, we shall. So there's 50 and just as before I have a burr all the way along consistent burr I mean it's not consistent burr but it's consistently getting a burr at 50 strokes which is absolutely fantastic once again knowing how fast it cuts I know I can take three strokes per side in the same manner back and forth strokes and get rid of that burr in the same way so up on the other side just to be sure. There's 
three. Hey, come on back here. The equipment is not allowed to leave the studio area until we are done filming. So there we go on this. Yeah. Sometimes left hand just feels weird. Don't know what else to say about that. Sometimes the left hand just feels weird. Again, this is just peeling the burr off or stropping to a certain extent with the stone itself, with the diamond face of the stone itself. By going and doing fewer strokes, it's just peeling all of that excess stuff off. Don't listen to people who tell you when you're fatiguing a burr, if you have abrasive on your strop, you are not fatiguing the burr. You are grinding it off with a much, much finer abrasive than you made the burr with. You don't have to believe me. It's just what it is. Anyone tells you you're fatiguing a burr with a leather that has compound in it, it doesn't understand what they're actually doing. with people who try and say it's a matrix of burrs and it's a realigning them when you hone them. That is not what it's doing. That is not. Scientifically or otherwise, what is going on at that apex? <laughs> it does not realign anything. It's not like a comb. The edge is not a comb. It needs to be realigned. You are peeling parts of it off. Or else you could sharpen it with a hammer. I don't know why that's hard for people. But... You are fatiguing burr off if you have regular leather and you are stropping and you are just going back and forth back and forth because now you've made a burr and you are fatiguing it you're just bending it one until it comes off and then if you have compound you can compound on top of that and rub some of the little chunkers off but all right so we'll do one more one more single stroke per side here. All right. So 1200 grit edge, which is nice. I have to admit it is a nice edge. The old paper towel. Pretty clean for a slow, smooth, not so smooth cut. Now, this is about the edge I like my knives to be at. But, and then I can strop them down. In fact, Let's do it. So I actually strop from heel to tip on my kitchen knives, not my not my pocket knives. Now on this one, I go three micron and then one micron after going on the Atoma. Let's see if I can do it. So I 
do not use, I just totally twacked that thing. So, and I am not particularly worried about how many strokes per side. I am quite literally not only knocking burrs and stuff off, I am smoothing out transition points from apex uh, and secondary bevel to the primary bevel, which makes friction on the cut less. See, other thing polishing does indeed do. But what I really like about the grit from the 1200, the 1000 to 1200, believe it or not, what I really like about it is just the feedback it gives. I think it happens to be particularly good at that. It has an edge that it'll keep. I don't think this was been on. Uh, it has an edge that it'll keep for a long time at that 1200 level, the thousand, the 12 micron, 11 to 12 micron. It just has those, the right amount of toothiness, the right amount of not. Once again, I'm stropping off camera here. All right, so there's, and my, one of my favorite most used drops, as you can see, is the 3 micron and 1 micron. So we're going to just did the 3 micron. We're going to do the 1 micron. I ain't doing it on camera. All of them. I'm going to just rip out a few real fast. It takes so long to get it on camera. So a few of my strokes here. And then I'll do the last couple on I'll go back to the camera but I can get in the time it would have taken me to do just two on camera I can get all but two done so and this is tech diamond tools diamond paste this is the uh, 14,000 K again you can find a triple paste uh, or a triple stri triple paste Combo 5, 1450, probably one of the best ones out there. The 3 micron and 1 micron. Personally, have found it to be one of the best combos for strumping. 3 micron is pretty smooth, and the 1 micron is definitely smooth when it comes to. Oops, getting the edges right. Let me see if I can. Ooh. All right. Do I have... <laughs> Do I have another paper towel somewhere around here? I know I do. It's my kitchen for crying out loud. There's got to be a paper towel, right? All right, one second here. One more. Put the strap away. Overstropping is a disease. Not really, but you know, you can get lost in stropping. Let me get the diamond paste out of here. All right, so now we have just done, where it is? Just done the three micron to one micron. I'm just gonna let the weight of the knife go down. Pull the paper away and let it cut. Anyway, so yeah, there we go. Not bad. Got a hint of toothiness that'll cut. We'll still push cut really nicely through vegetables and we'll drag cut and everything through soft materials with a, enough toothiness that you only have to push through once. There we go. Really, really well heat treated S35VN. 
Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see the Veneve in action. And uh, we'll polish this one up on the Veneve. But in the meantime, I'm going to use it as it is. So leave in the comments if you want to see the Veneve. In the meantime, go ahead. Take this video. Watch it twice. Comment as much as you like. Be mindful of side effects. Remember to like and subscribe. This has been your dose of Drew. I am said Drew. And you guys have a great rest of your night.